Aloha, Connie's and Wahinis. As you can see, I'm ready for a trip to the islands. I have on my glasses my tutu nanny, Mumu, my flower in my hair, my hula doll. But there's one thing I'm not certain of. Where is Pearl Harbor? Where is Hawaii? Did you know that when I was doing research, I would ask that very question. Of, of the many people I interviewed, most of them did not know where Pearl Harbor was prior to the attack, December 7th, 1941. However, I found one, and here she is. Be, uh, when the attack happened, correct? Yes, it was in December and I graduated in May. Did you even know where Pearl Harbor was? Yes, because that was one of the things I'm going to tell you. We had sent, um, there was an organization called Seminary, and we would study uh, about the Old Testament, New Testament, and, and the Book of Mormon. And um, anyway, we, this group came together and uh, sent gift or packages, care packages. We had cookies and everything that we thought these Navy people would want. They were a lot of them from our hometown. And which hometown was that? Spanish Fork, Utah. Anyway, we all got together and sent these packages for Thanksgiving. And then the, the bombing was in December. Right. So, yes, there were hometown boys there. Oh. And some were killed. And um, from our area, the little surrounding communities and all, there were that many young men who went to war. To the war, did to, to in the navy. There's some women. There's some, you know, waves, wax. Um, and this was, but these are everyone who went in throughout all the years, correct? Or was that just for Pearl Harbor? This, not just for Pearl Harbor. No, it was after the the war was declared. Then these my classmates were of the age that they were either they either went voluntarily so that they could choose the the um, service they wanted to be in, or they would be drafted. So most of them volunteered. Wasn't she wonderful? However, if you had been doing trade, such as in this book. The, there was actual logs sent from Chico, Washington to build the pier at Pearl Harbor. So if you were doing some sort of trade or if you were lucky enough to ride the gracious steam liners over and you could stay at two hotels, that's right. Before the war broke out, there were only two major hotels in Hawaii. There was the Moana, the oldest hotel, and then the Pink Lady, the Royal Hawaiian. So those were your only options. So stay tuned, because I'm going to talk about Hawaii more, and obviously I'm going to talk about my next book and all of the research that I've done. Thank you. Aloha. I better get my glasses on and get ready to boogie. Bye. Aloha.